Well, this came in the mail today. Cable bill. Who likes to pay for cable? Is there a better way? Hey guys, Joker88 here, and thank you for watching our how to videos. And today's how to is how to cut the tie with your cable company or your satellite company. Bill, goodbye. This is Joker88, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to cut your ties with your cable company or your satellite provider. One thing though is you will need your internet for this one. What I'm going to show you guys is called Kodi. So if you don't know how to get to Kodi, just go to your browser. Go to your Google browser and just type in Kodi. It's K-O-D-I. Okay, and then you'll see... Uh, it's the very top one, and once you click on that, it's going to get you to the Kodi website. And you'll be downloading from here. Now, also here, they also uh, have uh, ways to teach you how to install it into your computer. So what we're going to be talking about today is installing it into your computer so that you can get media content for free, movies, TV shows. You can even get live TV. So, like I said, how to cut your ties with your cable company, with your satellite provider, this is the way to do it. Click on downloads. And again, you can install this on these devices. You can install on your Windows, if you have a Linux computer, uh, Mac OS 10, which is what I'm using now, and Android devices. Kodi Ubuntu, like if you have Ubuntu, and you can use this on a second gen Apple TV, but it needs to be jailbroken. Or the Raspberry Pi, okay, and then they have other devices. But most most of you guys will be either installing this on a Mac or a Windows or an Android player. Now, what I prefer, I prefer installing on an Android player by buying like an Asus Nexus player. I'll show you mine because there all you got to do is go to the Google Play Store download it's a snap it's so easy it's just like downloading an app and you're set okay so in our case we're trying to do it on the computer I'll go ahead and download the installer on a Mac OS all right so it's gonna it's called Jarvis is the model it's downloading now it's done and I'm gonna go ahead and open it Kodi used to be XBMC which stands for Xbox Media Center and it really transformed into Kodi so what I'm doing right now is just installing it into my Mac and I am using a MacBook Pro so Kodi or formerly XBMC has really changed the way I view television because it's like having on-demand co media content 247 whenever you want to now again you need to have an internet service and your internet service has to be pretty decent if you have a terrible internet well you may want to think of upgrading that but again you don't have to use your cable TV you don't have to use a satellite dish no monthly fees, nothing, man. Zero. The only thing you're going to be paying for literally is your internet, which you're paying for it already right now. Okay, so it's done installing. Let me go close the installer. Then we're going to go head out to the apps. Go to applications. And here we're going to look for Kodi. And there's Kodi right there. And if you want to keep Kodi onto your desktop, easy you just drag it onto my desktop if you're using a Mac and I want to put it next to my media devices we will put it by our quick time play okay so you go to Kodi you go to your Kodi icon hit control and then you have your options open up login so I'll just click on open here okay so Kodi is from an un unidentified Kodi is from an Cody is from an unidentified developer. Are you sure you want to open it? And you say, yes, I do want to open it. 
Okay, so here we go, guys. We have Cody. Do you want the application Cody app to accept network connections? Sure. Okay, guys, so once you guys get to this portion, <clears throat> all you do is you want to go over to Systems. So in Systems, you're going to go to File Manager. From File Manager, you're going to go ahead and click on Add Source. Add Source, and we're going to go ahead and... This is the important part, guys. This is the one that's going to get you guys all the different media. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash WIZ dot Wookie SPMC dot com SPMC dot com. There you go. And then done. And it's going to ask, hey, um, do you need to, need to put a name for this media source? And I'll just put Wookie. Okay. Now click on done. And okay. Okay, so once that's done, go back out. Okay, so you went ahead and typed that in. We're going to go back to our system. system click on this the system itself and then we're going to go to add-ons and here we're going to install from the zip file and we look for the folder that we made in the bottom wookie click on that and it says we're here click me succumb to the wookie.zip click on that there you go we just took a while all right, so let's close that. You'll get that. And go to programs. And you should see Wookie right there. You click on that, it's going to start Wookie. Okay, and then you want to install the Wookie. And I like. Wookie Light. Uh, you could choose Retro, New Look Wookie, but I like the light and I'm going to go ahead and click install. Okay, so once it's done, it's going to kind of shut down your unit, but for those of you guys using the um, the Nexus player, like the Asus or any other Android player, or if you have a jailbroken Apple TV too, you'll have to unplug it and plug it back on. So once you reboot it, you should be welcomed by the Wookiee screen. And check that out. Movies. Loading. While it's actually, I would let it sit for a bit and load. It's going to be loading a bunch of different things like add-ons and things like that. Different types of links and sources for all the different media that you're looking for. And again, when I say any kind of media, any kind of video, movie stream, TV stream, sports, man, this is it. So I'm going to go under HD box. You can go anywhere. Again, this is for you guys to, you know, to check up on. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's start with, um, let's check out this Batman vs. Superman, all right? So I just, just click on that link. You'll see the menu that says it's working. There it is. HD quality. Uh, let me forward so you guys can see what I'm... Okay, move some more. Okay, so, just an example. 
Okay, let's get out of the movie section. Let's go over to uh, sports. If you want to go to sports, I'll go down over here to DC Sports. Yeah, and you can look for UK, uh, US sports. That's live. So if you click on live US Canada, you can go to ESPN, Fox Sport. So again, the only thing you have Oh. Has given up a home run in seven straight games. Mark Trumbo has 30 home runs this season. That is a volatile statistical mix to be sure. Trumbo, hello, solo. Show. And it's out of here. So, I think with in this case, guys, we are all hitting a home run with this, right? What do you guys think? Okay, so you saw sports, TV show, exact same thing, man. Just choose one of these in the bottom, and then you just choose a TV show that you want. It's going to be there. It's going to be there, guys. Um... Personally, I use a lot of the Salts TV. So here you can look for trending shows, popular shows, any TV show. Man, you're set. You want to watch Mr. Robot, Big Brother, Big Bang Theory, Shameless Preacher. It's here. Season 1, Season 2, Robot, Mr. Robot. Uh, so if you miss all of Season 1, boom. Click on this. It's all there. Episode 1 through 9. Oh, 1 through 10. It's all there. Now let's talk about some of the devices that you can buy. The CS918S you can buy on eBay for around $100. That has a quad-core 1.6 gigahertz with a built-in Bluetooth. It does 1080p resolution. Of course, this next one is the Apple II TV. And this one has uh, to be jailbroken, free to use it. It's, it's good. A bit, you know, My favorite is this one, which is the, the Nexus media player it's a google player made by asus and i was able to buy this like a refurbished one for like 50 60 dollars and you know you have asus behind it this one has a 1.8 gigahertz quad core so it's pretty powerful stuff it's got a one gig of ram uh it has eight gigabytes of memory in your output you have your hdmi of course and a micro usb and of course your power the dimensions to me is as big as like a little saucer a teacup saucer and the connectivity of course you have your wi-fi and it also has a bluetooth 4.1 and it's pretty light and I love it. So I hopefully you guys learn a lot of stuff from our how-to video this week. So please catch us on our show next week. This is Joker88. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.